I'm here in San Francisco and behind me is Macworld, where Apple boss Steve Jobs has just given his keynote speech laying out what Apple products are going to be coming in 2008. Now there's been loads of rumour and speculation as usual and even a draft of his keynote speech that leaked onto the web but fortunately proved to be false. So what did he reveal? Well, two important things. One is an incredibly sexy, incredibly thin laptop called the MacBook Air and two, there's movie rentals through iTunes but these are only available in the US right now but are coming to the UK later in the year. First up, the MacBook Air. Now, this is not a replacement, as some thought, for the entry-level MacBook range, but it's an ultra-portable of sorts. Um, it's actually still got a 13-inch screen, uh, so it's pretty wide, but it's incredibly thin. The thinnest laptop on the market, in fact. Um, it has a Intel Duo processor inside, an 80 gigabyte hard drive using a 1.8 inch drive, the sort of thing you'd find on an iPod, or you can choose to have 64 gigabytes of solid state if you've got a lot of money to spend. Um, it also, it doesn't feature a, an optical drive, so uh, you can't use it as a DVD player, but it comes with some great software that allows you to use the optical drive in another Mac or PC elsewhere wirelessly. So if you want to install software, it's not a problem. You don't have to buy an external drive. Um, but the coolest feature, aside from the, uh, from the drive thing, is multi-touch. Um, it doesn't have a touch sensitive screen, but it does allow you to use gestures on its trackpad so you can zoom in and out using that cool pinch movement. Now I've used this, it's not quite as intuitive as the iPhone, um, but it still is a real step forward in terms of user interface. And the second cool thing is iTunes movie rentals. These are much cheaper than buying movies on iTunes and they're better quality. For between three and four dollars you can rent a movie which come out pretty soon after the dvd does watch it on your computer transfer it onto your ipod or watch it on apple tv now apple tv has been revitalized with a software update the hardware isn't any different but you don't need a computer for it to work you can download movies direct from your tv and it's a great way to watch movies particularly as you can also download hd versions it's a real rival for the Xbox 360 movie downloads and I'm really hoping that it comes to the UK sometime soon. So there you go, some pretty cool stuff. Uh, there was a bit of an update for the iPhone 2 with a new software that allows you to reorganise your home screen and take web clippings. But really this was all about the MacBook Air and it might not be as revolutionary as the iPhone but it is an incredible piece of kit and I desperately, desperately want one. Unfortunately, in the UK, I'm going to have to spend about £1,200 on it, so I'm going to try and get one over here, where I'll spend just $1,800. That's just over £900. Lucky me.